That deadly shooting at a Texas mall over the weekend. A 33 year old man with an AR style rifle opened fire as people shot, killing at least eight, injuring seven. Those innocent victims killed, ranging from five to 61 years old. And when it comes to gun violence in America, the numbers are simply staggering. A portrait of a nation in crisis. The latest tragedy in Texas was the 199th mass shooting of 2023. It's only the 128th day of the year. Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman is in Allen, Texas with the latest. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. That mall behind me was packed Saturday afternoon. That gunman drove into the parking lot, got out in the middle of it, and began shooting. And eyewitnesses tell me that the scene itself was so grisly that first responders were hyperventilating and were sick. Now, authorities have been poring over the suspect's history, finding that he was discharged from the Army in 2008 over mental health concerns. His social media posts filled with neo-Nazi and white supremacist material. This morning, authorities investigating that Texas mall shooting, which left eight people dead, is possible domestic terrorism, finding the suspect's social media rife with neo Nazi and white supremacist posts. Around 3 30 Saturday, a gunman, now identified as 33 year old Mauricio Garcia, turned an AR style weapon on throngs of shoppers at the Allen Premium Outlets north of Dallas. This disturbing video shows the moment he steps out of a car with an AR style rifle and opens fire. Dozens of rounds of gunfire, hundreds of shoppers run for cover. There's this guy dressed in all black, wearing a vest, has an assault rifle, and he's just shooting at people. In this surveillance video, one store employee leading customers to a service corridor and safety. Shortly after, an unnamed hero cop heard on police radio, first calling for backup, then taking the suspect alone. Ultimately, the gunman killing eight, the victims ranging in age from five to 61 years old. Stephen Spainauer is a military vet whose son works at the mall and called Stephen, who was there within minutes. Spainauer almost immediately encountering the wounded and the dying. You arrived on the scene and you immediately saw three deceased people who had been shot dead and this little boy. There was more than three. I was on the operator. I was counting bodies and I told her I've got seven bodies. I need seven ambulances. And she's like, what? I don't know if we have that many. I said, however many you can get. Joshua Barnwell, who had stopped the bleed training and military experience, also ran to the wounded. I approached the woman who was conscious. She said, please work on my daughter. This woman had massive trauma, five to six gunshot wounds. I went to her daughter. I immediately started chest compressions. I knew she was gone. And now a community in mourning, honoring the lives lost. Among the victims, Ashawaria Tatikanda reports our affiliate WFAA. She was an engineer and 20-year-old Christian LaCour. His sister Brianna telling ABC News he'll always be remembered for being a really sweet kid. You can see that growing memorial behind me. Eight crosses now around one of them. They've tied stuffed animals. That is the cross for the five year old child who was killed. This is the second mass shooting here in Texas just this week. And some of the eyewitnesses telling us that they knew exactly what to do when they heard the gunfire. They got low. They ran away, got as far as they could to safety. Michael. All right, it's just heartbreaking, Matt. Thank you so much for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.